What's going on everyone? Chris Beans here with Bowlers Rant bringing you three new updates from Brunswick Bowling. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and turn on those notifications. I do appreciate your support of the channel. We've got three balls to cover today. One from Brunswick, the Intense Mindset. One from t uh, Track, the Tundra Blue Fire. And one that was a favorite years ago, the Messenger Power Core Pearl. And I will wrap it up with some uh, thoughts from a uh, email that came out to the pro shops from Brunswick and then wrap this up and we will be done with the video so let's get right into this let's talk about this one this is something that I think people have been uh, expecting for quite some time this is the intense mindset it's an asymmetric pearl and completes the trio of reactions with the original mindset and the perfect mindset okay so this ball has the HK22 Evolution Pearl cover stock and it has the mindset core. The color is black, orange, and purple. The performance is in the pro category in the, uh, it's a flip ball with a rating of 90 on the Brunswick Performance Index. The finish, 500, 1000, 1500 CA Air Micropad with Crown Factory Compound. And the numbers at 15 pounds, 2.487 RG with an 050 differential, 0.021 asymmetric differential, has dynamic core, uses the DOT layout system so you can put your uh, holes anywhere you want without voiding your warranty, and has HK22. Wow, it's a lot of syllables and mouthful. So translation, what is all that word, Salabine? That means this is basically skid snap monster, house shot killer, or something you can use for later in the blocks in a sport pattern, and it's got all the technology that you want for extra carry, a little bit better length, and probably maximum performance to the pocket, and it's going to make anybody in the Brunswick camp a very, very happy camper, and should be tunable for surface. All right. Next up, this is the one I'm most excited about out of this release. This is the Tundra Blue Fire. I was a huge fan of the Tundra Fire, the original. It's the only Brunswick ball I have left in my bag. Um, and this one's going to have some big shoes to fill. I'm not going to lie, because the original Tundra Fire was that good. Okay. Um, this one, DR6 Pearl with HK22. Okay. And it has the Track Symmetric Core, Dynamic Core. Uh, this uh, Finish is 500, 1,000, 1,500 CR micropad with Crown Factory Compound. The number's at 15 pounds, 2.561 RG with an 030 differential. So the last ball we looked at was low RG, high differential. This is the opposite. This is high RG, low differential. And if it's anything like the original, which was very rolly, a bit tumbly, but with a nice smooth arc to the pocket, uh, the way I was reading the documentation that this is just an update to fine tune the reaction and give a little more reaction, which means probably a little bit sharper of a reaction. Uh, time will tell. What's really interesting is that this ball looks like it's got some particle in it. If I'm to, you know, some, I think they call that texture in the Brunswick camp. So does that mean it's going to have a longer footprint in the lane? Who knows? But if it's anything like the original, this is something that you would use as a symmetrical pearl, a breakdown or transition ball from a symmetrical solid or a big asymmetric block and should be like your number two ball in the bag and should make you a very very happy camper if you are in this brands of brunswick camp all right next up the messenger power core now according to the documentation which we'll go through in a minute i guess they re recolored this the exact same way the one in the early 2000s was and basically they've brought this back and they've uh added hk22 so this ball has the hk22 reflex pearl cover stock and it's got the messenger power core core the color, black and gold. The finish, 500, 1000, 2000 C air micropad with crown factory compound. And the numbers at 15 pounds, 2.515 RG with an 040 differential. So this is a medium RG symmetrical pearl. It is a skid flip reaction. It's going to be something you're going to use absolutely as a transition ball. Um, either in the same category as the track blue um, tundra blue fire or maybe even slightly one step down for when the lanes start to get really toasty. Um, this is going to be kind of like your jack of all trades ball, right? It's got dynamic core, so you do, and you have HK22, so you've got a lot of technology here. Anybody who is a cranker is probably going to love the reaction on this ball, provided they've got some friction to work with so they can stand left and throw right. It's not something you're going to want to use in the soup. So if you are a one bowling ball type of person, this isn't going to be the one that you get, unless if you really got to have this ball and you're going to probably add some a little bit of surface so it doesn't go too long in case you encounter some soup, or you're going to have to stand really right and square up and keep your angles trapped. Uh, for those of you who um, tend to be uh, rev challenged and you do like the stuff like this, you're just going to want to make sure that your layout is right, keep your valve 40 degrees or less, so that you are basically have got a really nice pinup drilling, and you should have a favorable reaction if you throw a quality shot. All right, now let's talk about the email that came out from uh, Brunswick to the Pro Shops. So there's a couple talking points here. 
Um, if you go past the marketing stuff, all they're saying is that the intense mindsets strong asymmetric core is basically paired with HK22 Evolution Pearl. I believe a version of this cover, you guys can fact check me on this, uh, was on the Quantum Evolution Pearl. So you've got a little bit of that plus found Crown Factory Compound, which basically goes on all their pearls to give you that skid snap reaction. And this basically, if you remember, the perfect mindset was the sanded hybrid and the original mindset was a really strong solid. I loved the original. So I feel like this is probably going to be something you would pair with either the perfect or the original. I like the original. If you do me the original on this one, that's a solid one, two punch that you can't go wrong with for most conditions. Um, now this ball, the messenger power core pearl. So according to the documentation, basically they poured this in the exact colors that was made the ball famous in the early two thousands and the updated pass messenger power core core plus hk22 so they've basically brought this back i wish they would have done this as a vintage ball i think that would have really paid homage to the roots of this ball right especially if they're talking about paying respect to roots um i really like when brunswick is doing the vintage balls and i wish more um, manufacturers would do stuff like that um so yeah that's what we've got for these releases now I save my opinion stuff for the very end because I want to get through the stuff and then I look at what's happening. So one of the trends I'm seeing, and it's not just related to Brunswick, I see Storm do it, I see Motive do it. There's a lot of tendency that when I, I think it looks like a perceived, and I say perceived, lack of innovation, because sometimes you just get these balls where it looks like we've dipped into the parts bin, right? We're on the bowl, we're on the road to bowl expo, right? So that's usually when you see a lot of really good releases. It seems like earlier this year, Brunswick really blew its wad with all that really cool hammer stuff. Um, who knows if we're going to see another release from hammer or not? I hope we do uh, before bowl expo. But when I go back to this email and I look at this, right? Well, we have intense mindset. So they took what I think was some version of this evolution cover from the quantum. They've married the core and the numbers are exactly the same. So and then you've got really just colors to pick and boom, there's your ball. This messenger stuff looks like they just went to the parts bin and then had some chemist add HK22. Boom, there's your ball. And then the track Tundra Fire, the blue fire, it's kind of the same thing, right? You got DR6 Pearl, but with HK22, the rest of it looks pretty much the same so and but i'm gonna offer that this color is smoking hot i love this color so is it really that different i don't know that's up to you to decide drop me a comment let me know and as usual let's continue the conversation more updates to come and until then bow well